That's us uh, leaving the classic car show. Um, that's my Ford Granada, and because I decided to do an auto jumble, uh, I didn't get a chance to go over and speak to MD about the Granada or anything. Uh, maybe next year. In retrospect, what I could have done was, um, I could have, um, um, I could have uh, used the Granada, the auto jumble, or parked it up there. Might have been a better idea. Might do that next time. It's been a great day. It's been a great, a great, great day. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, I didn't. For another thing, I didn't sell that many car parts. Car parts, but it's so lot of crap. But do you know, it was actually a really good day. And the granada is looking good, I just need to get on with it and get more done to it. This time next year it'll have a new interior. Good, doesn't it? Oh, Granada. The old Ford Granada. So, let's see if we can get around here without moaning about the moaning about the um, stupid bike lanes. I think it's quite. To go to a classic car show to see the amount of people they are enjoying classic cars, the amount of normal people that are into cars and everything. When you see the lunacy of the government and everything, they're trying to destroy cars, they're trying to stop us from driving. There's so many people. You know, there's speed limits and speed humps and constant this and constant that and taxes and, you know, everything goes up in price. You know, Everything goes up, and then you get such a whole, huge amount of people. 
that. Because the reality is that a lot of the things that the government have tried to do are just pointless stupidity. And so the normal people, like that, that's what I would say they are. Everyday people. They're not thinking about nonsense, nonsensical crap. Nonsense. Stupid ideas. Look good. Oh, for Granada. Good looking car. It really is. It does look very nice. the back of it because I own it. <laughs> ah, that'd be funny. No, it wouldn't be funny if it wrecked two of my cars. My van and my car. Uh, yeah. And the gear lever comes off. <laughs> oh yeah. And the gear knob comes off when I'm in a sticky situation. First time it's ever done that. I'm driving a bit hairy to try and keep up with the Granada. 